This is a demo of doing some Roman numeral analysis for an example by Bach. This is the Bach prelude in C major. It's just a portion from um, the, about the middle, it's middle, it's about two thirds of the way through the piece. Um, I'm going to play the recording. It might be a little quiet on the video, so if you want to turn up your volume for it, you probably can. Um, so let me play the recording for you. This starts just slightly before measure 18 that you see on your screen. Measure 19. So measure 18 begins with a 5-7 chord, which is already written in for us here. In measure 19, I need to just take a collection of the pitches. I see that my texture is broken up into sort of these arpeggiated chords. So in the measure, I see a C, I see an E, there's a G, and every other note that I see in this measure is either a C, an E, an, or a G. I'm in the key of C major, so this is a C, E, G chord, this is a one chord. In measure 20, I take a collection of the pitches that I have. That C is in the bass again. I have a G, I have a B flat, I have another C, and then I have an E. The rest of the pitches in the measure are repeats of what I've already found. Turn off the video for a minute, plus pause, and try to figure out what this chord is. I'll lead you through figuring this out now. I have four notes, C, G, B flat, E. I need to put them in order of thirds. So C, E, G and B flat. I notice that one of my notes is a chromatic pitch. It's a note that does not fit in the key of C major. The B flat here is that chromatic pitch. When I see a chromatic note, it's either an embellishment, an embellishment, it's a, an applied chord or a secondary chord, a chord that is uh, emphasizing another key area temporarily, or it means that we're modulating or changing keys. So in this case, I know it's not an embellishment because the B flat is repeated throughout the measure and it's part of the harmony that is here. I don't think that it's part of a modulation because if I look at the end of this uh, excerpt in measure 24, I see a chord that has no accidentals. I see B naturals back. So that B flat does not stay in effect for very long. So my other option is autonomization or using this as an applied chord. If I look at how the chord is spelled, C, E, G, B flat, I notice that it is a major triad with a minor seventh stacked on top. This is the dominant seventh chord. Dominant sevenths can only happen on five, but C is not five in C major, so I know that this is a secondary chord. This chord is a five seven chord. C is its root, so I now I need to figure out what key this chord is a five in. So I ask myself, if C is five, what is one? Well, C is five in the key of F major. And F major is four in the key of C. So this Roman numeral is telling me that this is a five seven in F, or five seven of F. F and four are synonymous. F is 
scale degree 4 in C major, F is Roman numeral 4 in C major. And as we continue in measure 21, I see that I have an F in the bass. If I take into account every other note in my measure, I have an F, I have an A, I have C, and I have an E. If I put that into thirds, F, A, C, E, I have a seventh chord. There's no exit else to take into consideration. So I know this is a diatonic chord. It's built on F with just four. It's in root position and it's a seventh chord. Now measure 22, I see that I have some accidentals. I have an F sharp. I have a C, I have an A, I have an E flat, and the rest of those pitches in the measure are repeats. So I stack it into thirds, F sharp, A, C, E flat. And I know that this chord is not diatonic because it has chromatic pitches. These chromatics are not embellishments, and we've already discussed how this is not modulating. So this chord is a secondary chord, and I need to figure out which one. If we look at how the thirds are built, F sharp to A is a minor third, A to C is a minor third, C to E flat is a minor third. So I have all minor thirds. The only chord that has all minor thirds is a fully diminished seventh chord. And where do fully diminished seventh chords occur? They only occur on leading tones. So fully diminished seventh chords only happen on leading tones. Same as the major minor seventh only happens, only occurs on five seven. So this is a fully diminished seventh chord. So I know that this is seven diminished seven of something. The root is F sharp. So I need to ask myself if F sharp is the leading tone, what is tonic? F sharp is the leading tone. I go up a half step from there to find tonic. F sharp is the leading tone of G and G is five in my key. So this is a seven diminished seven of the key of G, which is five. Moving on to measure 23, I see another accidental, the A flat in the bass. I also have F, I have B, I have C, and I have D. The rest of the measure is repeated. So if I stack that into thirds, I have a B, C is kind of this odd note, and then I have D, F, and A flat. C doesn't fit. We can call that an embellishment. It's a passing tone. I'm going to put that in a different color so we can see. If I take C out of the mix, I'm left with B, D, F, A flat. And looking at that, how that chord is constructed, I have a minor third between B and D, I have a minor third between D and F, and I have a minor third between F and A flat. So I have all minor thirds. Again, all minor thirds is a fully diminished seventh chord. The root with this one is B. So I know this is a seven fully diminished seventh chord. B is the leading tone of C, and we are in C. So this is actually a kind of a diatonic chord. We're borrowing the A flat. We're borrowing this A flat from minor. This is from C minor. Finally, we get to the measure 24. I have a G, I have an F, another G, B, D, and then I have a lots of repeated pitches. I put that into thirds, I have G, B, D, F. It's a diatonic chord, G is the root, G is five in my key, and I know that chords built on five with the seventh are a five seven. 
in thinking about a contextual analysis here, measure 19 is my tonic. I'm just going to start my phrase there. Measure 19 is my tonic. Measure 20, I start my predominant area. That predominant continues all the way to measure 23, where I have a leading tone chord, and that's my dominant.